Okay, second part, we are going to rotate the region about the x-axis and then we will find the volume. I will show you guys both the washer method and also the shell method. So, have a look here. First of all, of course, let's go ahead and draw the region again. Here is the square root of x and here is the one half x. And of course, we are talking about this region and we are going to rotate about the x-axis. So, that's pretty much a typical picture that we'll do. And then, when we rotate it, just have to picture this in your head. First of all, you will have an outer piece and then minus the inner part. So what you do is the following. When you rotate about the x-axis, the square root of x will be on the outer part. So you first draw the outer part, which is like this. And then you do a mirror image down below. And then the bottom is the base right here, just kind of do oval so you can make it like three-dimensional looking, okay? So this is the x-axis and this right here is the y-axis. And then, you know that when you rotate it, there will be one part in the middle that's missing, so you will have to subtract. Take this blue line and then you rotate about the x-axis, you will actually get a cone, like this. Right? So, let's just go ahead and make a quick sketch. And, in fact, people call this the washer method, it's actually just nicely equal to a disk method question right here, and then minus another disk method right here, alright? So that's the picture that we will have. Okay, and remember the little numbers. First of all, let's write down the equations. Y is equal to square root of x, the other one is the one half x. And then this right here from earlier, we know this is equal to zero and four, and we also have the two, so just keep all those numbers in mind. Have a look here. Right here, we are going to find the volume by using the disk method. So what you do is, you first you draw pretty much like the vertical rectangle, Rotate that, you actually get a disc. So you actually just draw a disc. A very thin disc. Like this. Okay? And as you can see, the oval kind of match with the oval of the big one. Anyway, it's all about labeling. And you also have to remember, the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. The volume of a disc is pi r square times the thickness. Labeling, the thickness right here is dx. Very nice. Second part, the radius, which is from the axis of rotation to here, and of course that's just be our y, uh, that's just the y, yeah? And because we're in the x world, we know why it's not allowed it, but this y is the same as square root of x, so we'll just put that down in a second. But anyway, for the volume for this one, it's equal to, um, let's just put down pi, and then again, y is the square root of x, so I'll just put this down, square root of x, and then we have to square that. So you see, pi r square, and then times the thickness, which is dx, just like that. This will give you the volume of this red disk. And then we just have to add them up. And because we're in the x world, we just have to go from 0 to 4, and add them up by using integration, just like that. Very nice. And usually, you may see people just put like both of the things inside of one integral, but I think that's confusing sometimes. Because sometimes when you are doing rotating about like x is equal to negative 1, you have to do subtraction of like a different subtraction for the radius. I personally prefer to break it down into two integrals, and you can see that this is actually just a this method question, and again, you'll get another this method, this method question right here. And when you have subtraction going on, when you have the hole in the middle, that's called the washer method, right? Anyway, right here, do the same thing. I will just draw a disk. It's pretty much the same thing now because you'll see that the thickness is still dx, and this right here is our y, but the y is one half x. So this right here is not so bad now. Pi r squared, and the r is our, oops, wrong color. Blue, blue. Pi r is y, which is the one half x, right? One half x. And then you square that, dx that, integrate that from zero to four. And yes, you can put this inside of that, but as I said earlier, if I write it down separately, uh, it will be more clear, in my opinion, right? So this is the so-called washer method. Because, again, just like washing machine, there's like a hole in the middle. Well, what if I want to use the shell method? Have a look here. 
why I do with a short message is that I will just kind of rotate it and I'll just give you a whole picture, which is like uh, the whole thing, but we have a hole in the middle. So again, I will just draw like this, right? And now I'll do the mirror image and then I'll do like this, okay? And then I will stick this in, that's the X axis and then we have the Y axis. And we also have the inside, which is this line. And then again, you just have to do like this, and you have to remember that it's actually just this part that's actually the solid part. And the middle is the hole, so keep that in mind. Now, the difference between the disk and also the shell method is that you will see if you have DX for the disk, you will always have the other one, namely DY for the shell. And the reason is because in order to draw the shell, which is just like a piece of paper, you can just imagine, a shell is just like, this right here is a cylinder, and take it out, this is a shell of the cylinder. And you pretty much have a rectangle, and you have to remember the 2 pi r for the circumference, and then times the height, times the thickness. Okay, so for this one, we will actually begin by drawing a shell, and it actually is a horizontal rectangle situation. What we do next is, you mirror image that down here, and then here you just go ahead, you draw the oval so you can see. This is like the shell, which is just like a tube that I'm trying to draw. Like that, isn't it? All right, and then, again, it's all about labeling. First of all, this thing has a thickness, which is right here. In that case, it will be the Y. Always pay attention to if it's DX or DY first. And next, go for the radius. And of course, the radius is actually just from here to here. And notice this right here, it's very similar to our labeling earlier. And right here, we'll just label it as Y. And the good thing is that Y is allowed in the Y world. So we'll just use Y for the radius. Then we go for the height. The height is just going to be this to that. You see, it's this to that. It's just like our horizontal rectangle situation for the area. What do we have to do? Yes, we will have to do the X on the right. So let me just put this down here for you guys. For this part, we have to do the X on the right minus the X on the left. Well, what's the X on the right? Look back to this. The X on the right is, of course, the blue one. If you are coming toward this right here, you know the blue one is the one on the right. I will have to solve for x in terms of y here first because we're in the y world. So x on the right is the same as 2y and similarly the x on the left is just you square both sides you get y squared. So this right here is actually just equal to 2y minus y squared and that will be for the height for that. And now we have all the ingredients and I'll put on the volume for you guys right here. Well. 2 pi times the radius. Again, that's the circumference formula, right? And the radius is the y, which I will just put on 2 pi y right here. And then we have to multiply by the height, which is this minus that. And we are in the y world. So 2y minus y squared, and then the dy. Very nice. And then integrate that from 0, yes, to 2. So this right here is the shell method. And maybe you notice that if you have hole in the middle in your solid, maybe the shell method is a way to go. And of course, that might be the situation because when we have a shell, there's nothing in the middle in the first place. So of course it works out really well for this kind of situation, right? But the disk method minus another disk method, it's not so bad either. And of course, the more you do it, the better you will get. So let's go ahead and get to the next one.